Well, good morning, everyone. I'd like to call to order this Pierce County Council meeting in Monday study session. It's Monday, July 24th, 2023. The time is 11.08 a.m. Um, we have Council Members Denson, uh, myself, and Kruver uh, available for this Monday study session. There, um, the, all other members are excused and not present. Um, we do not anticipate taking any action whatsoever. Uh, this is about preparing for um, tomorrow's council meeting and uh, agendas for the week. Uh, there is no anticipated action whatsoever before the Pierce County Council in this Monday study session. Item number two is review of tomorrow, July 25th, 2023's council meeting agenda. Ms. Long. Thank you. This is tomorrow afternoon's uh, amended council meeting agenda. Uh, we'll start with your consent agenda under C, final action. Uh, there are two resolutions here. First is R2023-117. This is confirming the appointment of three new members to the South Hill Advisory Commission. Uh, and B is R2023-118. This is confirming the appointment of two new members and the reappointment of two existing members uh, to the Pierce County Flood Control Zone District Advisory Commission. Um, move, there are no proclamations, recognitions, or awards tomorrow, so we'll move right to Section 8 ordinances, and you have two items here. The first is 2023-25, and this is authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $51 million in limited tax general ob obligation bonds. This is related to the purchase of a new building and the remodeling and renovation of uh, the county city building. Uh, this received a due pass recommendation at rules on July 17th. Number two is 2023-24, and this is repealing ordinances 2023-5S and 2023-14. This is related to a petition filed with the Growth Management Hearings Board. Uh, this proposal was forwarded without recommendations at CDC on July 17th. Moving now to Section 9 resolutions. Uh, you have three items here. They are all um, quite similar. Um, they are all, all three of these are authorizing the executive to enter into an interlocal agreement related to the distribution of park second REIT funds. The first is R2023-110, and this interlocal is with the city of the Gig Harbor. Uh, this proposal received a due pass recommendation at CDC on July 17th. Uh, the second is R2023-111, and this Interlocal is with the Peninsula Metropolitan Parks District. Uh, this received a due pass recommendation at CDC on July 17th. And the third is R2023 112S. And this is an interlocal with the key Peninsula Metropolitan Park District. Uh, this received a due pass as substituted at CDC on July 17th. And those are your agenda items for tomorrow's regular council meeting. Thank you. Are there any? Questions about tomorrow's council meeting agenda? Let's see any. Um, there are no amendments we're aware of and no, no grant amendments. report or authorizations for tomorrow either. Correct. Item number three is review of the committee agendas for the week. Ms. Long. Thank you. So this afternoon at 1.30, you do have a public safety committee meeting. Uh, there is one presentation and that is the district court report. This will be presented by uh, Judge McCann and uh, Misty Robinson, who is the district court administrator. Tomorrow morning, beginning at 9.30, you have an economic and infrastructure development committee meeting. Uh, you have two presentations on this agenda. Uh, the first is fish passage barrier removal projects and culvert inventory. And this will be with planning and public works staff. And the second is the Chambers Creek Dam removal study. And that's also with planning and public works staff. At noon tomorrow is your regular Tuesday study session. Uh, in addition to your usual items, you have um, under other business, a briefing on the King County Regional Drug Court. And there are a number of pre presenters uh, listed on your agenda there. And at 3 p.m. is your regular council meeting. On Wednesday, July 26th, beginning at 10 a.m., there is a performance audit committee meeting. Uh, you have two uh, discussion items on that agenda. The first is the proposed scope of work. And this is for the Pierce County's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And the, the other is a discussion of recruitment for the vacant citizen member pos position on that committee. At 1.30 on Wednesday is the first meeting of the Select Committee on Homelessness. Um, there are 
several items on this agenda. Uh, first is the committee expectations discussion. Uh, next, you have the comprehensive plan to end homelessness goal review. Uh, next is the coalition to end homelessness. This will be presented by uh, Rob Huff from Low Income Housing Alliance. And then finally, you have the work plan review. And the, those are the meetings for the remainder of this week. Thank you, Ms. Long. Are there questions about committee agendas for the week? I wanted to make note um, for members benefit, the discussion um, and presentation we're gonna have under other business at tomorrow's Tuesday study session. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Judge Lineberry has helped us bring together some uh, uh, thought partners from King County District Court who has stood up a regional drug court. Um, this is in, um, in light of the Blake Fix bill that the legislature passed. There's a real opportunity here for all the cities and towns in Pierce County to work together in order to um, provide the same access to justice as those communities that have therapeutic court programs like ours, right? Here in district court and superior court in Pierce County, in our jurisdiction, um, we do have um, alternative courts. Um, we call them several different things. We call them uh, drug court. We call them veterans court or um, therapeutic courts. They're, they're kind of, we use this terminology, this various terminology for basically the same concept. Um, uh, again, not, not every community uh, has um, a drug court or a therapeutic court because they can't afford the wraparound services that is really entailed to having a functional therapeutic court system. So this is the beginning of, um, I think, uh, what I hope will be a, a fruitful discussion about how do we regionalize this, this effort countywide so that every community member um, in Pierce County could have access to the same justice system, have, have access to a drug court or, th or therapeutic court by working together and pooling our resources together and offering that. So I'm looking forward to that uh, in study session tomorrow. That's what um, I wanted to preview that for, for members. I think it's a really important discussion, especially in light of the new Blake Fix bill. Any other questions about our agenda for this week? I'm not seeing any. Um, Ms. Long, are there any administrative items this morning? Not this morning, thank you. Are there any other items of business by members? Not seeing any. Ms. Long, any other business? Not from staff, thank you. Not seeing any other business before the Pierce County Council and Monday study session, we are adjourned.